our top chef. Oh! <laughs> I mean, obviously, we would have uh, loved to have seen Brian win. Um, but we're going to be able to get reservations to vote now. Oh, Yay! Now <laughs> but we're glad. But you know what? We're glad that if it didn't happen to be Brian, who is you know our you know, local boy in resident that it could be a local boy and we're thrilled, we're proud. Disappointed, um, you know, we've been following this since uh, pretty much the beginning. I, I kind of understand why they picked Michael, I think he's got that edge that uh, they were probably looking for in a Top Chef, so, but just definitely disappointed for the homeboy. We really thought Brian had it, we just thought it was in the bag. Well, as much as I wish Brian had it, I think it's good that Mike got it, because he doesn't have a, his own restaurant, so it's good. Yeah, I'm just happy for whoever wins, you know. Um, I think that it helped Brian a lot with his restaurant and everything, so he benefited from it. And they're all winners in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was great, great to see them both on there. Wish Brian would have won, but uh, you know, with, with, uh, seeing the brothers on there was good. They proved that they were uh, both the top chef. Yeah, I went to high school with both of them, so they were uh, they were people that I knew, and uh, it was definitely uh, good seeing uh, you know bringing a uh, top chef and uh, someone being famous from the, our town. I think it was fabulous. I think they were all winners. There's no question. They didn't get to that level. You don't cook prepare food, whatever, on that level unless you're all winners. So all three of those guys were truly winners. The fact that Brian was so supportive of his brother, he's just as excellent a chef, so is Kevin, they all were. So it was, it was just a fabulous night to be there with all of it. Well, we thought Brian should have won, but it was great. We liked them all, so it was, it was just fun. It was, and they put in a great, a great show there also. I don't even cook, I love it. Yeah. First of all, the party was awesome. It was fabulous. The uh, the whole celebration, the mood was just incredible. And the fact that either way, Frederick kind of won. You know, while we were certainly rooting for Brian, I think uh, you know Mike was a great choice. It was it was terrific. It was a fun celebration of uh, a local talent and spotlighting the skills that we have right here in our community. It's great. Well, it was a great competition, <laughs> and yeah, we'd like Brian to have won. But he did great anyway, and he's just, uh, he's one of our hometown heroes. Oh, come on, we wanted Brian to win. Of course, I mean, he's right here in Frederick. We came to see him win. We've Why been not? here most every week, too. Yeah, just about every week. Oh my God, you know what? It was a wonderful night, and I'm so glad that it went down to the two brothers, because that's the way it should have been. That the was two great. of them, they both were quality chefs, and they both had such experience and such technique. And I, I'm so happy that Michael won, but I'm happy for Brian too, because you know what? He's a small town boy that made good, and he put Frederick, Maryland on the map, and we couldn't be more proud. Woohoo! Miscarriage of justice. No, I, I, I kind of, I thought that the only person who could beat Brian would be Michael. Um, uh, this is actually our first time here, but I've liked what I've seen uh, his about his poise and his, uh, his, his classy guy on TV. But Michael had just a touch of over-the-top inventiveness. He was either going to crash and burn or win it all. I thought it was awesome. I've been friends with Mike and Brian for a long time. I, you know, proud of both of them. Happy to see Mike win. He's, uh... I wanted Brian to win. He's more, well, I mean, I'd like to see Brian win because he's Squiddy. local, but, you know, I've been pretty tight with Mike, too, so... Hold on, yeah. it's probably Very great. happy. To me, it was a little surreal. Um, I, like I said, I've known Mike and Brian for a long time, so to see him on TV, it wasn't, um... I don't think it was as big of a deal because it was like seeing an old friend every day, like I see him anyway. So, yeah, 